on second and eight Milton. Going deep. Taking a couple of shots to the end zone and this one's hauled in. Tennessee touchdown Cedric Tillman. But you can tell the trust that Milton has in his 6'3", 215 pound receiver. Let me just put it up there because I know you're going to make a play and a great job by Tillman of coming and working back to the ball. You're going to see a lot more of that this year. As Chris Dulu will punt from his own end zone. A semifinalist for the Ray Guy Award a year ago. Trayvon Flowers is deep for Tennessee. Here come the Volunteers. They blocked it on the goal line. The ball is free at the two. And Tennessee jumps on it there. Christian Charles with the block. Felt that they had a fantastic chance to come after the opening punt. He told me, watch, 14's going to come clean. I mentioned it to you, and wow, perfect execution. They had practiced this all week and found the perfect opportunity, and what a start here in Rocky Top. As you told me, the, the coaches felt that there was a weakness, and they were coming after that first punt. A game you like outside of Bama, Florida. Bo Nix and Auburn going on the road. Bo Nix has been a completely different quarterback at home than he has on the road. First pass here intercepted. Shanley's pass taken away. It's Solon Page inside the 10. He'll score. There's your pick six, Tennessee. A pick six for the redshirt senior Solon Page the third. Got to move this chains to pick up the speed. Second and seven. Hooker going to take a shot downfield and wide open is Peyton. And look at this. The balls take the lead. Javante Peyton. Big shot, deep shot, hand in Hooker. And Tennessee out in front of Florida with a 75-yard touchdown strike. Tennessee fans can breathe a deep exhale because I just saw a Tennessee quarterback hit the receiver and stride down the field. How many times in the first three games have we seen volunteer quarterbacks throw it 10, 15, 20 yards over the receiver's head? Not here. What a great throw from Hendon Hooker to Peyton. Their college careers, Joe Milton, though, got hurt in game two. That opened the door for Hooker to come in. And it's hard to take a guy out who's been playing this well. Big run. Tyon Evans in the open field. It is a track meet. He's to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Tennessee. 92 yards. 13 to go here in the first quarter. There's pressure off of the edge, and all he does is hit it. I mean, the uh, the question was, was he going to allow the defense, Ensign Rakestraw, to be able to catch him? And he's just, you can see, he's just striding out, and that's just way too easy. Hooker, downfield, has a receiver wide open. Touchdown, Javante Payton. Four straight games with a TD for Payton. Four have gone for touchdowns. TDs of 35, 75, 29, and that one from 39. Fake the toss, Corral. Look in. Can't afford to take a sack. Fires! Intercepted! Trayvon Flowers with the takeaway for Tennessee. First pick of the year for Corral. Yeah, Roman Harrison really makes this play. You're going to see him redirect and force Corral further outside the pocket. And this is, don't make a bad play worse, right? Yep. Nothing's there. This is what he hasn't done. This is bigger than he did in the first half. What do you think Tennessee has done to cause that? Oh, they get there. It is blocked by Tennessee, and the ball came loose. So the Volunteers are going to take over on a block punt early third quarter. What a great job here by Deshaun Rucker for Tennessee. He comes off the right side, number 28, and gets a hand on it. And it's just poorly protected by Alabama's punt protection. Ranked teams in the first reveal of the college football playoff with Georgia and Alabama in the top two spots. Inter 
intercepted. A lot of green grass for Taylor, and he will take it the other way for the pick six. Alante Taylor, the senior from Manchester, Tennessee. And for volunteer fans, the Cookie Monster gets the INT. And the Cookie Monster read this one all the way. But he's in a squatting stance on the outside, and he just saw the ball get delivered and never broke stride. He took off running, caught the football, and just kept going. And then gave me a little something in the end zone, a little shimmy over there by the Cookie Monster. Third down team so far this year. Got to get to the six. Hooker throws it. They are going to get more than six. They'll get a six-point touchdown, Tennessee. Start fast, I guess so, Gary. Yeah, the bunch formation really exposed the Georgia defense this time. Little play action, just a little bit of a delay, and you've got your fast receiver on an inside linebacker on the play. All right, TNC 5G pylon cams. Maybe, and, and I think it was positive that he was at least able to practice a little bit this week. You figure he gets another five days of rest and maybe he can give it a go. Wow. Great return. Velas Jones inside the 30. Inside the 20. Goodbye. Touchdown. Velas Jones. 96 yards to the house. Maybe take a shot here, second and short. Some pressure comes from the outside, right? Feels it, and that one is picked off. Theo Jackson breaks a tackle. Theo will take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Dave, a couple things when you see this. You talk about the long pass. There's also pressure there by Tennessee. Nice job. Roman Harris is the guy with the pressure. But Theo Jackson, he is reading it all the way. Theo, he jumps that little, you know, they run the out routes, and he's just, he, he jumps it. He jumps it right away, and he gets into the lane, and there is nothing that Vanderbilt can do to stop it. Stop. Short throws. Both teams checking. They bring it. Hooker, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Come! Touchdown, Tennessee! Cedric Tillman with his third touchdown catch of the game. Then the connection. And in hooker to Cedric Tillman. That's tough for a DB. You get a fade route on the play before. Fakes outside, cuts back inside for the slant. Great route, great ball. We got a tie ball game.